and two Amazon accounts. It's easy to create an Amazon account. You can do that within the Alexa app. Uh, I'm not gonna cover that because it is so simple. So when you have your unique Amazon account for each room, then you go to Harmony and from here you um, you need to sign in to that account when you, so let me go back here uh, so in Harmony uh, you want to create you want to add that hub. So in Harmony, you want to go and add that hub. Um, so, you know, we have these multiple hubs right here. So, as you can see, you know, KC3920 is for the gym and the family room. Um, oh, wait, ignore all that. You need... So when you go into Alexa... So here we go. So when you go into Alexa, then you want to search for the Harmony app. Now in this case, we've already enabled it, so I'm going to disable it. I'll walk you through it. Um, so let's say you haven't added your Harmony to this account. Oh, let me go back again. All right, so you load your Harmony app go to settings and then make sure you're signed into that Amazon account. So I'm going to sign out just to be sure and then when I sign back in it's going to be into that Alexa, that Amazon account that I created. So as you saw... This might answer your question. Oh, thanks Amazon Alexa. Amazon is 24 years old. Uh, it was founded on July 5th, 1994. Uh, Jeff Bezos. Did that answer your question? Yes. Thanks. Um, Thanks for your feedback. Oh, you're so welcome. You're so helpful. All right, so for the Amazon account, again, make sure that you're using that account from that hub. That's why I write them down on each hub so I can tell them apart. So for this gym room, I'm adding this account. And I'm going to look away while I type in the password and give you some dog videos of them sleeping. Hey Ned, come here Ned. Come here Ned. Good Ned. Then you sign in. All right, so now we've logged in to that KC3920 Amazon account. This is for the gym. And now that we're logged into that account, we go to skills. And now we want to make sure that we've added Harmony to this Amazon account. So there it is. Enable. And that way, when we use the Amazon in this room, the Alexa, you know, Amazon Echo, um, it will know to trigger this Harmony Hub. And I'll show you exactly how it knows to trigger this Harmony Hub next. So we're going to sign in again. Sign in. Authorize. And now we need to choose where the hub is. So we have other Amazon hubs, obviously. Or sorry, other Logitech hubs. Uh, we need to select that this is the gym. So go to next. And these are the names I gave it. You don't have to title Apple TV Gym, but I did that to make it extra clear that I'm sending commands to the Apple TV in the gym rather than the family room or the bedroom. So if you wanted to add another gym, like, you know, let's say you wanted to say Apple TV Garage. And I think it works better if you space out Apple TV, but it probably doesn't matter. So that would allow you to just say Apple TV Garage 
and it would trigger the gem. These are just additional names for the Apple TV gem. I'm going to remove that. And then you have to um, you know, keep continuing. You have to make sure you discover devices. It'll prompt you to do that, I'm sure. Close the window. Yep. So give that a few seconds, and now you'll be able to say, I don't want to say it because it'll trigger it, um, but I can do something else. So for example, I have the, the hue lights in here. Alexa, make the gym red. Alexa, turn off the gym. Okay. Alexa, make the gym blue. Okay. Alexa, dim the gym. Okay. And this is using the Sonos one. It works okay. Uh, not as accurate as the Echo Dot, and certainly not as accurate as the Echo Plus, which is fantastic for far field recognition. Uh, I also have Sonos connected in here. So I could say, Alexa, listen to chill out music in the gym. Here's a station for chill out music, chill electronic from Amazon Music, playing on gym. Yeah, so then Sonos starts, you, know, you can turn it up. that. So yeah, um, back to the Harmony. So we have that set up and if you want to set up groups you can but now it's discovered everything and the, the groups you know the point of that would be you know a gym group um, but since gym is already taken elsewhere by Hugh you got to use a different name. See so we could say gym, or let's just say um, yoga room, that's definitely not taken. And then from there, you could add, you know, whatever multiple other devices you want, and it'll control them all at once. So, you know, that's, that's enough for now. So now, instead of saying lights, you could say turn on yoga room, uh, but back to the Harmony, uh, we can say, and I'll open up the Harmony app to show you this. So you obviously have to create, you know, that when you, when you first install the hub, um, you need to set it up and that's what I did before I showed you this Alexa integration with Harmony. Um, set up the Harmony first, set up the activities, the devices. Uh, if, you, if anybody wants a video on that, Sorry, let me know. I, know that one. I can create a video, it's pretty easy. Alright, so if I say the Apple TV's on right now. Alexa, turn off Apple TV Gym. Let's see what happens. Okay. Alright, and it should go off in about five seconds. Cool. Alexa, turn on Apple TV Gym. So you can see. Okay. Yep, the Harmony app responds. TV should turn on. Yep. Now keep in mind with with Apple TV, you can't use voice control to navigate directly to the apps. You can do that using the Fire Stick, so that has one advantage. But if you've already invested in the Apple ecosystem, you probably need to have at least both an Apple TV and the Fire Stick. The Apple TV so you can mirror your devices easily. Uh, the Fire Stick so you can just give voice commands to jump right to Netflix, HBO, etc. So that is the simplified instruction. Alexa, turn off Yoga Room. A few things share that name. Which one did you want? Jim. <laughs> <laughs>